Welcome to this top chapter of the Tech Boomers Week 2020. Uh, our target is to uh, explain or talk about uh, Internet of Things, IoT. Uh, let me introduce my, myself initially. My name is uh, Eva Diaz. I'm um, uh, the CEO of Apogeo Digital. Uh, Apogeo Digital is a company where we are focused on uh, digital innovation, we are working with uh, uh, three technologies, especially uh, artificial intelligence, IoT and deep learning, and mobility solutions. And uh, we are launching to the market uh, solutions uh, focused especially on social technology and uh, any other environments that uh, traditionally are not uh, being covered by uh, the big companies of uh, technology. I've been working with uh, technology from 25 years ago on uh, big consulting companies like Accenture, KPMG or, or Deloitte. And uh, my target today is try to uh, explain you what is uh, IoT and especially uh, how to use IoT on uh, entrepreneurship uh, projects. Uh, IoT is uh, probably the more technical solution or technology that uh, we are working on this, on this week. But uh, really, uh, its implementation in uh, entrepreneurial projects is uh, more easy. That comes in uh, initially. Okay, let's go to start. Uh, first of all, what is uh, IoT? Uh, the definition of IoT you can find in, in any paper or, or, uh, or any document uh, is complicated and uh, looks like uh, something very technical and very complicated. Basically, IoT, uh, is uh, the capability to use any data in any time, in any format, from any device in order to analyze the data um, together or integrate it and to take decisions about uh, uh, the area or uh, the problem that this data are uh, covering in, uh, uh, in fact, in the reality. Uh, the most important element is that uh, the intelli uh, artificial intelligent elements. So if you can imagine a lot of uh, uh, devices uh, in your home or uh, in a hotel, the most important is not how these devices are taking data, because uh, usually they are prepared to do it uh, uh, in an automatically mode. The most important is uh, take and collect this data in an artificial intelligent module in order to take a decision based on what uh, devices uh, signals are sending uh, to, the, to this uh, central module. It's very important to take identified uh, any of the devices in order to be sure uh, about uh, what signal is from what devices and try to understand what, is, uh, what the devices is uh, saying to us. And uh, this, the second characteristic uh, is that is not necessary human interface. I mean, every device is connected to the intelligent artificial module, and any device is sending automatically the information uh, to, the, uh, to the cloud without any need of human inter interaction. So uh, the devices are connected, are sending information uh, in a continuous way in any moment, uh, but we don't need uh, that uh, some person, uh, someone from the, from the team or from the company is uh, managing these devices, okay? So, the second important question about that is, uh, what is a device? Uh, I imagine that uh, everyone has been uh, uh, used uh, to talk or to, to hear about uh, a smartwatch. A smartwatch is a device. Uh, in fact, it's a, it's a machine that is sending, uh, to, some, to, to some point, information related uh, uh, position, uh, health data from the person that is uh, watching the, the smartwatch and ETC. Smartwatch is a, a uh, device. Are there a lot of devices related with uh, uh, temperature, uh, motion, and ETC? Uh, you have a temperature uh, sensor that is sending information about what is the climate uh, situation in a room or in a, in a space, that's another device. A smart key is a, is a device. The smart key uh, in a house, in a door, is able to send in, uh, us information about uh, what is going in, who is going in, who is going out. Uh, a drone is a device. Uh, you know, the, the drones uh, are able to send us information and pictures about uh, the geographical area that they are covering. 
Uh, and uh, something very important. Any animal can be a device. If you put uh, a GPS sensor in a cow or in a dog, for example, or in a baggage, you have a device because you have a, 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 an animal, a cow, that is sending information us about uh, position, movement, uh, even uh, health information about, uh, about him. Even a person uh, should be a device. Uh, imagine a person with a pacemaker. Uh, the pacemaker is sending information now as about uh, uh, frequency, healthy situation, ITC. So a person can be converted in a device if we put in, in, in him or in her uh, the systems in order to send us uh, some kind of information. And uh, uh, obviously, uh, all the smart appliances that uh, we have in the, at home uh, can be devices because this kind of uh, machines are able to send in us information about uh, food consume, temperature, use, uh, connected, uh, electric consume, and ATC. So it's very important that uh, when you are thinking in an IoT solution, uh, you are thinking in a lot of de uh, devices, not only the mechanical devices that are uh, uh, usually uh, thinking like sensors, even uh, animals, persons, uh, smart appliances, drones, etc. In fact, uh, anything in any, in any moment can be used like a device. Thinking on uh, doing um, entrepreneurship projects uh, using IoT, it's very important to understand the, the technical architecture of uh, an, an IoT solutions. Uh, in order to explain that, uh, I'm going to use a, a real case that is an application that we are launching from, uh, from uh, Apogeo Digital. Uh, we have in the market a solution to taking care of our uh, old elders using IoT at, at home. Okay, what is the architecture and uh, how is uh, working our solution in the market? First of all, uh, we are using, using several devices at the home of the, of the uh, elder. Uh, we are using mechanical devices uh, like uh, uh, temperature sensors, uh, sensor of movement, uh, a digital smart key, and a smartwatch and a smartphone. Okay, think that in architecture uh, of IoT solutions, we need uh, several devices put in some place. In this case, it's the, it's the home of the, of the elder. These devices are connected, uh, are sending the information about uh, uh, the number of uh, the movement of the of the elder, who is the elder at the home, at what time uh, he is uh, going out of the at home, or at what time uh, he is uh, going in at home. Uh, we are taking information about uh, uh, temperature, uh, corporal temperature through a uh, smartwatch. We are taking information about uh, uh, movement from the smartwatch. We are taking information about uh, uh, frequency of the heart uh, from the smartwatch. And uh, all this information that are uh, compiled or captured uh, almost uh, every five seconds are sent into a communication uh, platform. It's important to be sure that uh, these devices that we are uh, using at the uh, LR home are working uh, automatically. We have not need uh, to, to program or to manipulate or to do something with uh, these devices. We put the devices at the home. Uh, obviously, we need uh, some kind of installation, especially from the, uh, the uh, digital door or from the uh, sensor of movement. But there is no need special knowledge about technology to use uh, these devices. Okay? What is important in order to prepare an entrepreneurial pro project uh, is to think what I need to know about the space or about the person in this case, or about the, the, the area that uh, we have to take, uh, we want to, to take uh, control, and what kind of uh, devices we are going to need. In this case, for us, uh, the elder is a device because uh, she, is use, uh, she or he is using a, um, a smartwatch. Okay? So, you don't need special knowledge about the devices. You need to understand what kind of devices uh, you need. Uh, to take the right information in any moment from the uh, area or from the uh, problem that uh, you want uh, to, to have uh, uh, under control. 
Uh, these devices are sending information data, in our case, every, uh, every second, to a communication platform. Uh, this communication platform, there are several communication platforms standard at the market. You need just only to, to get uh, an agreement with uh, the provider of the uh, communication platform. The function uh, and, and the target of the communication platform is a, is a double option. First of all, is to get any information, any data from the sensors without problem and take uh, the data uh, stored in a cloud uh, uh, environment. And the second target is to be sure that any devices is uh, working properly. Uh, if the communication platform identifies that, for example, uh, the smartwatch is without battery, or uh, the, the sensor of movement has been broken, but any reason, uh, the communication platform identify the problem and send an information or a report to the manager of the, of the system. Okay? So the communication platform is just to ensure the communication, to ensure that we are getting uh, the data at any moment, and to ensure that uh, if we have any problem with the mechanical problem with the devices or communication, communication problem with the devices, are reported uh, to the manager of the solution. Even uh, again, this platform are a standard at the, at the market. There are several companies that are providing the, uh, the platform, and there is no uh, need a, a special uh, technical knowledge about, uh, about that. Okay, these data are collected. Uh, the, the devices are sending the information to the communication platform. The communication platform uh, get uh, the data, store the data, any second from any the device, uh, of the devices, and this data are uh, collected from an intelligence uh, module that who is uh, uh, the core of the system. What is uh, the intelligence model or, or the artificial intelligence model? The artificial intelligence model is the area where the knowledge of the problems and how to take action to solve the problems so to take decisions about the area that is being controlled uh, is uh, recorded. I mean that if we want to take care of the elder, we have to analyze when uh, this elder is in, in an emergency situation, uh, for example, because uh, uh, he has not uh, wake up or uh, uh, he has uh, out of the home uh, in, in, a in a time that is not accepted for the family. The intelligence model have the business logical to manage the situation. It's the key and the core of the solution that you are going to develop like entrepreneur. In this case, the intelligence module is, anal is uh, analyzing the information of the combined data from any devices. Okay? It's not analyzing just one device. For example, uh, uh, see the, uh, if uh, the digital key is sending us an information that uh, the people has been uh, out uh, from two hours and the uh, GPS position uh, is not sending any information about, uh, about the elder, uh, we take the decision, we take, no, uh, the, intelligent artificial, the artificial intelligence model take the decision to send a report or an, or an alarm to the family in order to be sure that uh, they are able to take uh, uh, an action, okay? So the intelligence model is analyzing in a combined form the, dif the signals from the different devices and based on uh, rules that uh, uh, the intelligence artificial model has based on the business uh, logical and based on the experience that uh, and, and learning uh, that uh, uh, the module is taking on time, is able to identify emergencies or is able to identify uh, alarms and is sending information about the data, the daily, daily data of the elder to the family. So the key for uh, IoT solutions is the inter artificial intelligence module because it's the place where uh, uh, the business uh, is expressing the needs in order to take control about what we are controlling. In, this, in that case, uh, an elder that is uh, living alone. This module is identifying any uh, alerts or ATC and is sending uh, the alerts to some place or to someone in order to take a decision based on the information that the intelli in artificial intelligence is sending. In that case, the information from the artificial intelligence module is sending to all the family of the elder in order to be sure that all the family uh, is able to act or to react 
in case of an emergency or an alert or an ATC. So this is the classic architecture for IoT solutions. Uh, can be more complicated, can be more uh, ex uh, complex, but in fact there is four key elements. The devices that are in a place, a home or a hotel or a retail or ATC, a communication platform that is able to capture all the information, an intelli artificial intelligence module that is taking decisions or analyzing the data in order to take decisions, and a management control uh, module that can be a, a mobile app or can be a, a, a another kind of a, a environment in order to take to act or react to the situation that uh, uh, we are having uh, in the in the structure that uh, we are taking control. Okay, um, we have learned, I hope, uh, how a, a IoT solution is a, is a structure. Uh, let's go to, to see some uh, potential applications on uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, in general, IoT has been used uh, a lot of uh, heavy industry, like manufacturing, energy, uh, in health and in security, are uh, the more typical application at uh, big companies level. Uh, these applications are complex, obviously, because, uh, for example, to take control of the security of a, a big building is, is too complex. But uh, thinking on, uh, on entrepreneurship, uh, there, is, uh, or there are several areas where without uh, no uh, so complex uh, technology or so complex solutions, we can uh, provide uh, um, solutions uh, to several areas. Okay? Uh, for example, the first one uh, is healthy. Uh, I understand by healthy, uh, everything related with uh, the personal health uh, of persons. I'm not talking about uh, health uh, like medicine. Okay. For example, we can use IoT. For example, I thinking on uh, take control about the exercise, the level of exercise of a persons uh, that uh, need, uh, for medical reasons, uh, some kind of uh, movement or actions or or energy or ITC or we can uh, uh, take control about uh, what kind of food is taking someone that needs a, a, a control or that wants uh, uh, to be health uh, uh, and beauty. Okay? This is an area where there are several solutions that are, are in the market uh, and a lot of uh, potential possibilities uh, at more uh, consumer level. Uh, the second one is agro, smart agro. Smart agro is a concept that is known in the market. And uh, in general, uh, agro needs uh, a lot of intelligence in order to optimize uh, resources. Uh, think that, for example, using a drone, uh, we can take pictures about uh, how is uh, uh, the agro. We can uh, take measures about uh, what need of water is needed or not. Uh, an ATC in order to be sure that uh, the responsible is uh, able to take a decision in every moment in order to optimize uh, resources and to be sure that is, know, is, is knowing what is happening uh, almost every minute. And even the, the decision can be taken uh, automatically because, uh, for example, if we have identified that uh, uh, need uh, uh, more water or, or, or less or ATC, it can be scheduled uh, using IoT. Uh, the third one is farm. Uh, we have uh, uh, used uh, the sample of a cow, like a devices. Uh, in same farms, especially in Europe, uh, the IoT technology is being used to take care, uh, uh, in this case, of the of the cows that uh, the cows that uh, I'm thinking in a real solution that is in the market uh, yet. Uh, for example, to take control of the positioning of the movements or the food and ATC, and optimize uh, resources related with, with the farm. Uh, the third one, and the, the fourth one, and the very important is uh, uh, retail. On retail, uh, we can uh, use uh, devices in order to be sure uh, what is uh, being shopping uh, by the users, what uh, uh, kind of element uh, we need uh, to, to reposition it on, on, the, on the store. Uh, we can uh, measure about uh, where the customer is uh, uh, taking more time in order to identify items or, or ATC. 
and try to uh, take intelligent decisions about uh, how to position the different items of the uh, of the um, uh, retail or uh, what is uh, being uh, uh, shopping more frequently or ATC. Uh, another potential area is uh, water supply. Uh, you know that uh, we can uh, take measure about uh, the consumption of water. We can take measure about uh, the quality of the of the uh, of the water. We can uh, take measure about uh, uh, how the containers uh, are taking how how water are taking or it is in, in order to optimize the distribution. In order to be sure that uh, there is no uh, a fault of uh, water in some points, or what kind of provision we need for the for the future. And another important area is uh, hospitality, uh, especially uh, not in the big hotels. Uh, I'm thinking or talking about uh, uh, small uh, uh, hotels or uh, home uh, like uh, Airbnb or ATC. In hospitality, uh, IoT is being used, uh, for example, uh, to put uh, digital smart keys uh, at the doors in order to be sure that uh, we don't need uh, to provide a personal uh, uh, service to the clients uh, to access uh, to the uh, to the um, uh, to the rooms, uh, we have to be sure uh, or, or to take measure about uh, if the person is in the room or is not in the room, uh, how time, uh, uh, how many time uh, the room is using or not, uh, to under to, to know uh, what is uh, what kind of services are are they uh, the client is uh, is using. Uh, in order to uh, automatize uh, the order from the room to the to the hotel and uh, as ever any other uh, solutions. All of these solutions, all of these areas to, to work um, are areas where several entrepreneurs around the world are working, uh, areas where uh, the future is, uh, is very important in order to, uh, to launch uh, solutions to the market. Uh, where the technology and the architecture that we need in order to, to, uh, to launch an uh, entrepreneurial solution is not too high, it's not too complex, and where the most important is not the technology, the most important is how the entrepreneur uh, really understands the business, really understand uh, what is needed in order to take control of the hotel, of the water supply, of the farm, and ATC and uh, is able to translate these uh, business needs to the uh, in artificial intelligence model and to translate these needs or this information in potential devices to be implemented. Think that in general the devices are standardized, uh, the communication is standardized, the communication platform is standardized, so the most important uh, for you like entrepreneur is, is uh, how deeply you understand and you know your business, your potential business, uh, to understand what do you need uh, to measure in order to provide uh, a better solution to the business and translate uh, these business needs in uh, intelligence and in devices. Uh, to launch a, a small business using IoT usually has been understood like uh, something complex uh, in the past. But uh, take in mind that uh, IoT has evolved a lot in the last uh, three, five years. Communication, that is a key uh, element of, obviously, of uh, IoT, is very standardized. Uh, devices are, are, are very standardized, so the technology complexity has been reduced. Uh, you have around the world and in the market a lot of devices, a lot of devices standardized, so you don't need uh, to act or to work over the, the device in order to, uh, to be sure that it's working. And uh, the problem or the key and the core is in your knowledge of the business. So if you have clear what is your business, you have clear what kind of measure you need in order to take a decision, you can implement uh, an IoT solution in your business, not easily, but uh, not so complex like in the past. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, this speech has been useful for, useful for you. And uh, let's go. Let's go to, to entrepreneur using IoT.